Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I've been working on something here in the game that I think is pretty intricate. I have a feeling that the Chiliad mystery includes lots of numbers. What are you doing back here, lady? Just hiding near the truck. Oh, taking a smoke break. All right, that's cool. Anyways, so when it comes to these numbers, guys, I think it all has to do with the number 1,000. You notice how when you go up to the top of Chiliad, you see that message that says, come back when your story is complete. A lot of us think it has to do with getting 100%. Well, what if it has to do with getting 1,000%? Here's the definition of Chiliad. Most of you guys know that it is 1,000, a group of 1,000, 1,000 years. So is the game maybe giving us a subliminal message that we have to do something with the number 1000. If you guys have ever encountered the number, definitely let me know, but I have a couple instances where I think they're giving us some clues. You guys probably have delivered some people off to the Altruist Colt. How much money do they give you? $1000. The Altruist Colt is located right on Mount Chiliad. They are definitely connected to the mystery, of course, with the jetpack symbol right there at the camp and the fact that they're giving you $1,000 per delivery it shows you that they are involved with the Chiliad as well so definitely let me know if you guys have encountered the number but we have one huge example we're going to show off thanks again for joining up here at the channel definitely subscribe if you are new we have a Chiliad mystery live stream going down on Saturday night should be a big one hopefully you guys can join up unless you're gonna go out to the club or whatever I'm not I'm gonna be chilling here with the trippy crew one of the most infamous cutscenes in the game you guys probably remember mr. Phillips one of the first Trevor Phillips missions well the final Trevor Phillips mission is called mrs. Phillips and it involves his mysterious mother I need you to get me some more delude all I can do that a lot of them a truckload literally and not those weedy little ones, the thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, a truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones, the thousand milligram ones. And not those weedy little ones, the thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. So that mission only shows up if you keep Trevor alive. We're doing a 100% playthrough on the PS4 where we will be sacrificing Trevor, which means that mission will not show up. We will not get the message to get the big ones, not the little ones, the 1,000 milligram ones. And of course, when you bring back the meds to Trevor's house, she's gone. And it's kind of interesting how they will not even let you inside the trailer until you bring the meds back. And then, of course, you never see Mrs. Phillips again. There's got to be something more to that. But it also could be a sign that you made the wrong choice. Instead of getting the opportunity to finish off some big mystery in the game by killing off Trevor, you only get this side mission, which really shows off his mom in a very mysterious way. I think that might even be an illusion, a possible ghost. We know that Trevor is pretty effed up. So him seeing his mom, we already know that he killed his brother off. So who knows what happened to his mom, and the fact that it is Mrs. Phillips shows you that there is a father out there who is responsible for creating Trevor. That is the question. So we're almost to the top of Mount Chiliad. The game gives you kind of a sneak peek of one of the biggest clues of the Chiliad mystery with the hidden glyph behind the trees. If you look at this one right here, it really just tells the story of how the UFO appears on the top of the mountain. And that UFO only appears when you have 100%. So because of that, we thought that that was the end game. You don't have to get all gold or maybe some other trigger because the UFOs appear when you get 100%. But as I said before, it says to come back when your story is complete, not when you get 100%. So maybe these clues towards 1000 are showing us that there is more to trigger. If you guys remember, the hidden alien crash site in GTA Online is triggered by a very specific statistic. Well, look at the stats that we have available in the game, guys. It keeps track of everything for each character. You have all of these stats here under general, crimes, vehicles, cash, 
Look at under general. One of them even says cheat codes activated on the bottom there. Of course, cheat codes activated zero. Very interesting how it keeps track of very specific stats. So maybe one of these has to do with the number 1000. Who knows, maybe it's something with the weapons that you have to do correctly, something with the crimes, the cash, and of course you have to do it with the right character as well. Let me know what you think. I am gonna work on this with the PS4 playthrough. I have a feeling the fact that they have that mission with Trevor, Mrs. Phillips, which is pretty much useless when you finally bring the meds back to Trevor's, she will not even be there. He'll just start crying and then it'll change you over to Franklin. So here's the message, come back when your story is complete. We know that Trevor's story is not complete because his mom disappears. And don't forget, when you deliver people to the Ultras Cult, it gives you a Chiliad. Whoever you bring to the Ultras Cult, they will reward you with $1,000. And if you bring two people to the Ultras Cult, it gives you $2,000. There is one person that you can bring who will give you $1,000 if you don't bring them to the Altruist Cult. So while most people give you $80 or nothing, the one person that actually gives you $1,000 is Packy McCreary. So maybe it shows you we have to keep Packy around. I don't know, but you can use him in some heists. I always felt like this was the wrong cutscene, guys. Notice how it pans up from the cave below the camp. You would think that these guys would help us solve the Chiliad mystery, especially with the jetpack symbol hidden on their sacrificial stone. We're bringing them the sacrifices. Instead, they turn on us. So I was thinking maybe we brought the wrong sacrifices to them. But at this point, we would know if there was a hidden cutscene that we have yet to unlock. Instead, Trevor's about to gun all of them down. There's a gun on the rock and we'll never hear from the Altruist again. I was hoping they would have something to do with the Chiliad mystery maybe telling us what the cave below the camp is all about but if you clear the camp then you just get rid of them they're not going to help you solve any chiliad mystery but looking into it with all the characters giving you one thousand dollars as a reward for bringing it to the camp i don't know if there is a right order guys i really tried some experiments i think there's something more with the number one thousand so in Grand Theft Auto Online, you have to do a bunch of resupply missions to get the secret UFO crash site to spawn. It takes a long time and it definitely feels random, but it shows you just how specific certain stats need to be. Do you know what the max level is for your crew members in GTA Online? It's a Chiliad, and 1000 used to be the max level for your character in GTA Online until they moved it up to 8000. Nobody is ever going to get to level 8000 in GTA Online. Unless they mod or they just play a lot for a long time. But let me know what you guys think. Once again, definitely let me know if you can find some suspicious hidden 1000s in the game. Especially if it has something to do with the Chiliad mystery. Hit me up anytime on Twitter if you guys have any theories that you want us to share at the channel. And we have that big Chiliad mystery live stream going down on Saturday night. That should be epic. Thanks again for being part of the community, guys. Much love. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned, my friends. But more importantly, as always, make sure to stay motherfucking trippy.